गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आर सी चौहान एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर सम्राट पृथ्वीराज चौहान गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर टुडे विल बी डिस्कस एम एस सी फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर फोर्थ द टॉपिक रिलेटेड विद द माइक्रोव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स द चैप्टर इज पैरामेट्रिक एम्पलीफायर एंड द टॉपिक इज लीनियरली ग्रेडेड एंड अब्रप्ट पी एन जंक्शन In the last term, we have discussed the linear graded P-N junctions. And the remaining portion for that one is that we have calculated the value of the C equal to the epsilon multiplied by the Q divided by twelve epsilon phi C minus the V power one by three, where Q is the charge, epsilon is the permittivity of the medium phi C. that is contact potential and the v0 is the applied negative potential here so if the pumping voltage is the vp equal to the capital vp cos omega t then the we can write at any time the charge on the capacitor is the ct equal to the epsilon multiplied by the q12 epsilon v0 power half 1 by 3 that is wrong please check it plus 1 plus the vp by v0 cos omega t Power minus one by three. This concludes that the capacitance which depends on the time non-linearly, and it is the a periodic function of the time, can be represented in the form of the Fourier series expansion in the form of the C T equal to zero to infinity sigma, that is C N cos N omega P T, where the N equal to zero. We can say C zero equal to the epsilon by the two pi multiplied by the Q. Twelve epsilon v zero power one by three, and that is the limit between the minus pi to pi one plus v p by v zero cos theta. That is, we can say cos omega t and power minus one by three d theta. And the similarly for the n equal to n, we can write for the C n where the theta equal to omega p t, and this so that the coefficient are the non-linear. The circuit for the parametric diodes simply we can say this is just like the tank circuit. And where the L S is the that is the inductance of the secondary coil, and then the C T is the capacitor which is depends on the time, and the R P is the resistance of this one, and the C P is the power supply capacitor, and this R P is here used for this one. So this is the symbol of it. That is encapsulated diode. So what we can conclude for the a uh, linearly junctions P N junction that that the C is not linear. In this one, C is not. Uh, you can see this is the non-linear device where uh, that C is uh, depends on the applied potential, and according that one, the value of the C changes, energy also changes. So this can be used for the parametric amplifier. Now we switch over to the next topic for today, and that is the abrupt P-N junction. What means of abrupt? Means that is the a uh, not continuously formed it is an abrupt or uh, they can see particular junctions at particular point the density or the any uh, values changes then it is the abrupt so an abrupt junction is then defined as the junction in which the doping type changes over a very small distance compared to the spatial extent and extent of the depletion region like this one that is the figure we can write A simple P-N junction on the D is divided. This the that is the size of the depletion layer is on the equal on both sides. But here, that is the different. For here, we can see that is for the P side. We see that is the acceptor impurity, and for the N side, that is the donor impurity. So we can see the density equal to the minus Q N E, and here on the opposite side Q N D, that is positive and this is negative. If you want to write the electric field. Then we say <coughs> that is on the plus minus d y two, or you can say either sides. It is the zero, but at the the central point, it is the maximum. <coughs> And the very important point is that if you want to plot the potential, then we say this is nearly on the other side of this one, so the v d is there. So the now we want to derive the c capacitance of this one. So the doping of the n d That is the donor of the ions in the n material relatively constant, 
up to the diffusion limit means a particular directions that is the impurity is added on this one so indirectly we can see the depletion layer is only in the sides of the inside uh, that is very small portion on the p side so finally we can write like this one that is the potential is like this one that is 0 to b it is nearly 0 and that is abruptly changes on the other sides so the diffusion limits and the charge density is like this one figure is given and that is also in the UG classes you can get the reference from that side also now we want to write the Poisson equation for this one so d2 phi by dx square equal to the minus rho by the epsilon and this is in terms of the density we can say the rho and that is density on the inside and n is the total number of the molecules or you can say particles so on integrations we can write d phi by dx because we want to get the phi potential contact potential or the potential on the other sides that is minus sigma n x divided by the epsilon n n plus the c when it's constant of integration and again on integrations we can write we can obtain the phi equal to the minus sigma n by the epsilon and n x square by 2 plus the c1 x plus the c2 here are c1 c2 are the constant of integration and to be calculated by using the initial conditions it x equal to 0 we see that phi equal to 0 so we see c2 equal to 0 and again at the x equal to 0 d phi by dx is 0 so the c1 is also 0 so both are 0 so finally we can write the potential equal to the phi equal to the minus sigma n by the epsilon and then x square by 2 that is just like that directly proportional of the square of the x that is the distance between from the central point <coughs> so the potential difference across the junctions phi 0 minus phi d because this is only the one sided is there so phi 0 is 0 and g phi d is this one minus of the sigma n by the epsilon and then d square by the 2 so we can obtain the sigma n by the epsilon and then d square by the 2 this is the potential difference between the two sides of this depression layer now the potential difference we know very well that across this junctions contact potential minus negatively biased applied potential so we can say that is phi c minus the v0 or the v as earlier we have write in the linear threaded junctions <coughs> so the phi c minus v equal to sigma n by the twice upon n and d square so d equal to twice upon n and phi c minus the v by the sigma n power half so the total charge on the any sides per unit area the q equal to 0 to d rho dx and the rho is the constant so we can say the rho integration of the dx and that is the d so we have to substitute only the value of the d and we can get the charge per unit area so the q equal to the rho multiplied by the twice upon n and by the sigma n, phi c minus the v power half so the junction capstance as earlier we have write for the linearly graded and that is c equal to dq over the d phi c minus v and this substituting and the uh, differentiating this one we can obtain the rho twice upon n n by the sigma n power half multiplied by the 1 by 2 phi c minus v power minus y by minus 1 by 2 so this formula so that for abrupt change in density of the pn junction the capstance is not linearly with respect to the v it is non-linear with this one so it can be used as a vector or the parametric amplifier so c is directly proportional of the 1 divided by phi c minus v power half hence the abrupt pn junction is behave like a vector and the variable capacitor just like that and the resonance frequency is omega r equal to 1 by root of lc if we correct l with this one so what we see this omega r is also changes with the potential so this is non-linear behavior of this one and then the next conclusion is that with the reverse bias the junctions behave like a capacitor and the depression layer is increased with the reverse bias and c decreases so this is all about this abrupt pn junctions and that is also used as a vector and that is variable capacitor because the capacity is 
changes with the applied potential and hence we can say it can be used for parametric amplifier. So finally conclude for today is that both types of the junctions or can say capacitors like the linear graded and the um, that uh, the abrupt change capacitors both are can be used as the PN junctions and can be treated as a vector for the for parametric amplifier. So this is all about for today. Thank you. Have a good day.